Hello everyone, welcome to the day 3 of Frontend Mentor Challenges and today we are going to create the third free newbie challenge here which is this 3 column preview card component so it is perfect if you are just getting started and it will help you for to understand the responsive process and also the grid system maybe although you can use the flex so without any further ado let's get started with it at first we need to download the component let's click the start challenge here okay now let's download this the starter files it is done now we can close the frontend mentor okay this is our desktop design and we also got a design for the active status only the changes will be happening on the button so this is the normal condition and when you hover on the button the background will be transparent and the button text color will be white but in normal case the button will have the color of this background colors so let's open this up by our visual studio code okay here we go now we got this index.html and let's create the markup so as we have done in the previous video or previous challenge that we can create a container which will contain this box and we can give the container a maximum height also we can make the container at the center inside the container we can add another div which will contain these three boxes so we can give this RDF a grid system so for the larger size display it will have three items but in a smaller size display it will have something like two or single content in a single row so let's create the markup we need to clean this up okay we don't need the attribution here so let's create a container div here inside the container i will create a div with the class of wrapper which will contain the three items but in this case each of the box got on different background color so let's give them a class name of box and also something like box on box 2 box 3 we need this box on box 2 box 3 because we are going to apply this use these classes to give them different background colors nothing else so inside the box content at the top we got the image then the text then some other text like paragraph text then there will be a link so let's put the image first image and it's in the images folder and the first one here is the i think shadows let's see okay shadows then acv luxury okay after that let's use an is to tag to put this title text here then let's use a paragraph tag which will contain this description text okay we are done now what we can do is we can copy this let's change the class name to box2 and we also need to change the text here okay let's again copy this because we got three items sorry we need to copy this not cut also we need to change the image the second one is for the suvs and the third one will be the luxury and it will be the box 3 
now let's also change the text okay we are done with our markup now let's open this up by the live server extension and this is what it looks like so i'll just make it something like that so you can see the live preview here okay now let's open the style guide.md so we got the bright orange which is the background of this one and the dark sand and the very dark sand the background color of the boxes here and we need to use two font family which is lexant deca and big shoulders display so let's import both of this now this is the lexan deca and this has only 400 height so let's just import this we also need this big shoulders display so let's just search for it here okay this is the font and we need the font weight of 700 which is the bolt on now we can import both of this in our style.css we haven't created that yet so let's just do that style.css and paste it here we also need to link that up link css okay I'll just copy this and paste it here. So at first let's target the body and the font size, the body font size will be 15 pixels. But before that let's give the body a background color. I think this is the color background so I'll just copy this and give it here let's also give the give the body a minimum height of 100 viewport height so we want to make the containers or this container here at the center so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the body a display of flex and then use the just if oh sorry it will be align items and center because we need to make this center along the cross axis not along the flex axis so let's target the container now and we can give this a maximum void of something like 960 pixels we also need to make them centered so margin will be 0 and auto now they are at the center so uh, let's make the font size to not the font variant it will be font size ok we need to type this out 15 pixels and the spelling is wrong also for the body the font family will be this one and this big shoulder display will be only applied for this test the title test here So the font family is done we can also specify the font weight we have only imported the font weight of 400 so i'll just add that here 
okay we are done with the body and the container now let's target the wrapper here and we need to apply the display of grid so display grid and grid template columns will be three fraction for now so on fraction on fraction and on fraction now they are applied in three uh, different rows now we are going to change that in a smaller display but we will do that later for now let's uh, make the corner sounded also we cannot see it now so let's target the box here box on let's uh, give this a background color from here so it will be the bright orange let's just give a background of this color I will just copy this and make two copy so it will be the box 2 and box 3 but we need to change the colors the second one will be the dark cyan and the third one will be very dark cyan now we are done so we need to make the corners rounded like this so we can apply the border radius with the wrapper so let's make that border radius of something like 12 pixels and we need some gap with left and right side so how we can do is we can give some margin with that let's say uh, 2 rem now we got some nice gap but the thing here is the border radius is not working because this is actually overflowing it so i will make the overflow hidden now the border radius has been applied okay now let's target the box content here so we can apply some padding with this box so let's target the box and let's apply padding of something like 40 pixels okay now it is looking similar like this actually i forgot to add any uh, one thing here which is this learn more link we actually need to do that so let's go back to the index.html and let's add an anchor tag here let's uh, put a hash to make it blank and that text will be learn more i will just copy this and paste it here and here now we got the learn more buttons in three different cards okay now let's go back to the style.css the padding has been applied now let's target the h2 so for the h2 we need two things we need to change the font family and also make it all capital so box a store and we can grab the font family which will be this one okay we don't need this anymore so i'll just remove that and we want the text to be capital so text transform and uppercase now let's make the color to white and we can also add some font size to something like 30 pixels to make it bigger okay it looks good so now let's target the normal paragraph here which is this text so for the paragraph uh, let's give it a color and I actually think 
they have provided us with the color actually they have also provided us the color for the heading so we don't need to use the height so i'll just replace this and for the paragraph it is the transparent height so let's apply it here let's increase the line height a little bit something like 1.6 so there will be some gap between these lines okay now let's design this anchor tag so box and anchor tag so at first we need the text decoration to be none so there will be no underline let's change the color so the color is a matching with this background color so we are going to do that later but before that let's add a background color and okay this is the background color let's add some padding so in this cases what i do is i just use the inspector tool the drip tool then we can play with the padding so let's say for a starter 10 pixels and 10 pixels then we can put whatever value you want to make it look similar like the design so the first value will be for top and bottom i think 30 pixels is good now for left and right okay this looks fine so i'll just uh, go with this padding also we need the border radius to make the corner sounded so border radius is to 10 pixels and we are going to increase the value unless it becomes totally rounded and this is totally rounded so i will just copy these two values and property here and paste it here now we got it perfectly so we also need some margin at the top so let's do that margin top of something like 60 pixels so in order to actually make this arc we need to make the display inline block because by default the anchor tag is an inline element so we cannot apply any uh, margins with that okay we are good if you think the margin is bit too much we can actually reduce this a little bit but i think it is okay because there is a lot of gap available so now let's apply the hover effect but before that we also need to apply a border so the border will be applied on every uh, side so let's say two pixels solid and this color the same as the background now when you hover on that we on the button color to looks like uh, let's see the active status looks like white and the background color will be transparent but before that we need to make the colors of the button text like the background color so let's target the box box on a and give the color of this on now it is uh, yellow we can apply these things with all of the box and the anchor tag again we need to replace this so box 2 and box 3 okay we are fine to go the text color is similar with this background color now we can add our hover effect so box A and hover when we hover on that we need the color to be changed 
so the color will be like this on and the background will be transparent it's safe and now it looks fine but we also need to add some transition effect to make this process slower so let's add a transition of all maybe 0.4 second is in out it looks fine okay we are done for larger size display so let's make the display size smaller it is not looking very good so what we can do is we can add a breakpoint and whenever the display size will be smaller than the breakpoint we can display single item in a row or column maybe okay mm, so let's uh, add a media query here media only screen and max it let's say we want 768 pixels and whenever the display size will be smaller than that we want to target the wrapper and make the grid templates column only have one fraction okay now it is looking great for every display size let's uh, use the inspector tool to cycle through all the oid looks fine fine also fine so this is the breakpoint 768 pixels and even for a smaller display it looks great but I don't think we need this mass padding for a smaller size display so I will add a, another breakpoint with 425 pixels and reduce the padding or margin a little bit so let's just copy this and in this case it will be 425 and we have added this with the wrapper the margin of 2 rem actually this is the same one so let's make the margin of on rem now it looks fine but if you want to even reduce it even more we can make it 0.5 rem but for top to bottom I actually on the on rem or maybe two it doesn't matter because the top and left got so much space here so now it looks uh, good for every viewport size and this is totally responsive so if you want to see it i will add the entire project into the code pen and i will leave the link in the description below so if you're also doing this project and want to share it with me, you can also add that in the code pen, in your code pen, obviously. Then you can share the link in the comment section. I will go and check that out. So this is our third project and tomorrow we are going to do another project at the same time. So thank you very much for watching and if you are not subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and I will create a I already created a playlist of these uh, projects, the daily challenges from the frontend mentor and I will also leave the link in the description below. So if you are not subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So thank you everyone and see you tomorrow with the next challenge. Take care and goodbye.